John Montgomery. Hello, Backers Club. Well, I do skeleton racing. Uh, I wouldn't say that it's completely insane. It is a bit uh, daunting when you first look at it. I mean, going headfirst down a frozen toilet chute on a cafeteria with tray with rails, essentially, at breakneck speeds of 146 plus kilometers an hour isn't normal necessarily, a normal sport that most people would uh, have seen before or have tried necessarily. So from that perspective, it's a bit wonky, but uh, once you get started, it's just like anything else. You're, you're dealing with the, the finite minutia of it all. It was au naturel, it happened that way, the way that you want things to happen organically. We were uh, at drug testing and after we gave our sample to the IOC, we needed to replenish and we were on our way down the, I guess the gondola into Whistler Square. And you know, there's this camera in your face and it's got this bright light on it, but you never anticipate that on the other side of that lens or on the other end of that bright light are you know, some four million Canadians sharing this moment with you. And as we got off the gondola and walked through the square, a girl who'd seen me on TV thought that I looked like the kind of guy that could use a pitcher of beer and brought one out to me on the streets. And uh, I was you know, very grateful at that moment in time. And to show my gratitude, as a good old Manitoba boy does, you take a hearty swill of it and say thank you very much. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm eternally grateful to my beer angel. Oh, I mean, they can either shoot it where they're doing it or they can do it in my hometown, in Russell, Manitoba. I mean, uh, it, is, it is just where I grew up, man. It is small town, the people, uh, you know, the personalities. Pretty much every small town across the prairies has these people living in it. Uh, you know, everybody can identify with the show for sure on the prairies. We're about to get down to work here. We blocked a scene and that was really cool, going through the steps of who's doing what, where and when, saying what. And now I think we're about to... Uh, get some tape rolling here. Well, I am part of the Amazing Race Canada. I am the host of that show. And the differences, I guess, would be is that our studio, our set, is always moving. And the backdrop is always uh, the Canadian beautiful landscapes that we have act as the backdrops for that show. So when you're in a studio or you're on a soundstage, it is quite different from that perspective. You're not having to deal with the elements or Mother Nature. But uh, it's a lot of hurry up and waiting in both scenarios. And there's always the, you know, the blocking, the getting the scene right, uh, adjusting the angles. A little bit of uh, TV and movie magic happening make things uh, seem a little more seamless than, than what they actually are in real life. And it's all new to me. I mean, this whole world of making television, making movies, making anything uh, creatively, it's a whole new world to me. I'm uh, really enjoying getting to understand it a little bit better and get my feet wet as we've done in the last two years here. Well, I've recently retired from competitive skeleton racing. This was my last season. Uh, on the road, so next winter will be a whole new ball of wax for me. I don't know what to expect yet, but I'm having an awesome time just getting to learn some new businesses and industries and uh, get to you know, try some new things out and, uh, and get involved in television and small, 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 small uh, cameos in movies now. <laughs> Hello, Brent here. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you click that subscribe button and don't forget to click the little bell notification too. That way you'll always be alerted whenever we're posting a new video. All right then.